What if Kenpachi used his full power? No! 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 Fuck! Shit! Now we all know that Kenpachi Zaraki is without a doubt one of the strongest characters in the Bleach universe. The feats that this man has displayed throughout this show is actually unbelievable. At an extremely young age, Kenpachi took down hundreds of thugs from the Wukong district with ease, causing Unahana, a Soul Reaper captain who used to be one of the Soul Society's most dangerous criminals, to be in awe. With Unahana being in search of someone that can best her, she challenges the boy to a battle to the death. But ends up being defeated. Fast forwarding to the Rukia retrieval arc, Kenpachi destroys Tozen, a literal blind soul reaper whose Bankai nullifies all senses, pretty much guaranteeing his victory against most fighters once they're trapped inside of it. In order for Kenpachi to pull this feat off, his senses would have to be almost beast-like. If we're judging him based off of his fighting style, or comparing him to one of the other captains like Byakuya or Toshiro, who are more finesse fighters, I can definitely say calling him a beast-like being isn't too far out of left field. Especially because when Ichigo first runs into Kampachi, the first thing that he comments on is his spiritual pressure having a killer intent to it. Now going back to his previous fights, this man's base stats are literally off the charts. He was able to pierce through Ichigo's sword like a fucking sheet of paper. He cut down this big ass minotaur Yami, who is arguably the first or second strongest spotter, and keep in mind, the more Yami gets damaged, the stronger he becomes. I think the only time that we see Kenpachi even use a percentage of his real strength in the anime is in his battle against Noritora. Now obviously Noritora was completely outmatched in strength, speed, skill, etc, etc. This dude literally grabbed Noritora by his face multiple times. Mind you, this man Noritora is like 7 feet tall. Like if you don't go get a rebound boy. <clears throat> but anyway, so for Kenpachi to slam this grown ass man to the ground with ease like that, it's just a testament to this man's strength. But during the fight, Noritora accidentally swipes off Kenpachi's eye patch. And this scene is where you start looking at Kenpachi like this dude is a little bit different. So as most of you know, that eye patch is a seal that keeps Kenpachi's power contained so he doesn't annihilate his enemies too quickly. But if you go back and watch the fight over again, once his eye patch is removed, it's literally like a new Super Saiyan is being born. The amount of spiritual pressure that this dude possesses is seemingly bottomless. So due to the huge amounts of blood that he lost, Kenpachi resorts to his kendo technique taught to him by Yamamoto himself. Throughout the history of anime, for a character to surpass his foe, they would usually be granted this huge power boost that ultimately leads them into getting a new transformation. We see this in Dragon Ball Z, One Piece, and literally every other anime that has came after. But that is where Kenpachi as a character kind of separates himself from the pack. Because with just a swing of his sword with both hands, he literally almost nuked the entire Waco Mundo. Now fast forwarding to the full banger arc, we don't see anyone from the Gotei 13 up until the very end where Ichigo regains his Soul Reaper power. So before Ichigo fights Ginjo, we get a glimpse of how much stronger all of the captains have gotten since the defeat of Aizen. Kenpachi faces off against Giriko Kutuzawa, and I'm not one to say that a character that can control time is ass, but this guy is complete fodder. Yeah, so Kenpachi punishes this man with the quickness, and at this point in the show you can kinda base Kenpachi's strength off of what Renji said in his battle. He basically said he was trained to fight people on Aizen's level, and I'm sure that statement was meant for more than just Renji, but for the entire Gotei 13. Now if we fast forward to the Thousand Year Blower arc, Unahana literally states that all the fights that Kampachi has been in would have been a lot easier if he didn't suppress his power. So in conclusion, basically what I'm saying is Kampachi is a pretty disrespectful character that's so strong he has to give the enemy a stimulus package in order for him to even have fun. So if you ever run into a Kampachi, y'all better jump that nigga.